Soldier Field in Chicago. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud you enough know, to shake you know. the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with the Minnesota Vikings. What kind of bitch does what? I mean, it's in this dude's name. He goes for the Vikings, so I mean, I guess I can't be mad. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and ten. And all over me, bet, bet. About to race quit halftime. They go play action here on first down. Let's go. If you know, you know. Like Damn, they gotta keep that music in the game, bro. In the of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I four at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Yeah. Line of scrimmage again. The twenty-five, second and ten. Khalil Mack, right there. Khalil Mack. He'll get it up to about the 28 yard line. It's a gain of about three. It's gonna leave him with third. He better not be one of those going for fourth go. motherfuckers, dude. I hate that. Just kidding, I am one of those people. For the fourth of a chance I get. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Whatever that guy said in the back. Fuck out of that shit. Come on, bro. Pick it, bro. I need you to slap it. I need to pick. How about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. Yeah, but if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. On now to kick it away. they going to fake it. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. That was the worst user juke of my life. With a return of just two, and the Bears take over. Yeah, we do. All right. All right hopefully, this is like unsuccessful. Now they look to pay a off on first preview. There, that's what I'm looking for. Preview of uh this next week game we have. On first and ten, it's Trubisky, and this is Gabriel on Ooh, the catch. Okay. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Throwing here, Trubisky. Rolling to. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted Burton. He was covered up. I clicked B by accident. <laughs> Dude, their whole line fucking has a star. Like, Our first carry now for Jordan Howard. And he stopped immediately there. Tackle made by Everson Griffin. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. A Chicago first down, the former Jag, Allen Robinson, on the catch from Trubisky. On first down, they run with Howard. Okay. okay. Okay, come down. All right, come down. What's your problem, bro? That's gonna go as a loss of four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, baby. Groovy, baby. That's your man, Weezy, baby. On second down, here's Trubisky. Over the middle, it's complete. And they'll be outside yeah, the 25 now at the 24. As they get closer for third down. They'll try to run for the power. Call it no gain that time. Are you fucking serious? On every 
snap, a defense is trying to establish who they are. But on third and short, that's really when you put it out there and tell people who you are. And that's exactly what they did. For the offense, they're looking at their offensive line and saying, guys, where are you? We need you on those plays. Trubisky keeps it himself, and I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. Bullshit. Oh, well. He didn't get anything. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. As Minnesota it. comes back out of the field, let's take a peek, Charles, at what they've done so far this year. One, two, and one. A tough week five matchup one, two, in and Philly. And yeah, this was a team that many one, thought could two, and be one. the best. Is this record the delayed? Start that their fans envisioned. I'm not yeah, two, one, not two, and one. Start but their fans may want to reflect back to last season. This team started 2-2, two and, two, and then won 8 in a row and 11 of 12 on their way to the NFC Championship game. So, maybe just a little bit of patience with them now. With the no, the no. deal for Kirk Cousins in the offseason, I think it's paying great dividends, even though the record doesn't show it. 10 touchdowns against only 2 interceptions. I thought he was marvelous last Thursday night against the Los Angeles Rams. Match Jared Goff essentially throw for throw. He was terrific. Their defense... The aspect is supposed to carry them, that's what they have to shore up right now. And their head coach Mike Zimmer says, we're gonna get that done. Cousins now on second down. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. That's what I needed right there. And his guys are gonna take over at the 31 yard line. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right. We'll see interceptions like that one right there. After the interception, here's Trubisky. What the fuck was that? Okay. He was to well, get well, that's one way to go throw your first in conclusion. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How yeah, open yeah, I know, bro. I know. Don't fucking you know that they got away tell me what just happened. I was there. I did it. Second and ten. Second and ten. It's Trubisky again. Come on, bro. Load it. <laughs> Cousins and the Vikings with a first and ten. Following the interception, Cousins. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be second down. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? Get that shit, baby. Let's go. Good shit, Goldman. Eddie Goldman with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. That's that shit I do like. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. Hey, we're good, we're good. From the gun, here's Cousins. Come on! Ooh. Ooh, that was another pick right there, bro. Back now with Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon. Second quarter begins with the Vikings holding the football. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. Here's Matt Wild now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And a nice job here on special teams. This Might as well have picked it up. I could have got off the whole side. The Bears offense now heading back. Right, come on, let's see how this play field. action plays out. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally good defect, man. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now the ball comes out. Cover for... And they are going to take possession of the football. Bro, the 15, I need him to take that, but come on, Howard, look at you. All the practice, all the training, all the meetings, 
In this situation, I know exactly what quarterbacks are taught. Take care of the football. That's job one paramount, because you cough it up here, you might be giving up six points real easy. Tip of the cap to the defense, though, forcing the fumble. Cousins now, after the fumble recovery. Finding a safety valve here, that's complete. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Second down, Cousins. Let's go, baby. We'll get you every time. Jonathan Bullard in there to sack him for a loss of six. Come on, let's get this back, bro. That was a fucking stupid fumble. Cousins. The left side caught by Diggs. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a little bitch ass screen. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because it's a guess what? Real bitch I play. Ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers right, or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes they're about to, it can break they're about to walk in. Watch. He's going to walk in. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. It's the fullback. Taking it in from two yards out. Man, man, I gotta let you do like in game little six. GGs or good players, huh? You know what I'm saying? Like Rocket League. Got the extra point, and that makes the score 7 0. That was Bailey stupid play right there, bro. Away. That fumble shouldn't have happened. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Oh, the where are those guys at the side at, bro? I don't want to be gone. This one out to the 27. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 27. Trubisky will throw. And a little floater there, but it'll I tapped it. I didn't want to tap it. That was accidental tap. Well, we have a second. Wanted to touch on a new program that's making its debut. That's got a lot of people excited, Charles. It's the Madden 99 Club. Now, what that is gives special recognition to those guys with an overall rating of 99. Of course, that's as good as it gets. So, through a partnership with our friends at Nike, you're going to see custom, one-of-a-kind gold 99 Club cleats and gloves reserved for guys like Antonio Brown, Gronk, and Luke Kuechly. And you and I were fortunate enough to get an early sneak peek at them. And I'll tell you, for my money really cool thing that they're doing sharp sharp look and how cool would it be for those guys to be part of that exclusive club and have something that no one else in the league has oh good hit that's pretty cool Trubisky finding the former eagle burton for the chicago first when the offense reads blitz doesn't matter where it's coming from Tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Come on, bro. He open. Took a shot. Uh, couldn't connect. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And it's second down. Well, CD, a quick look back at week four in the NFL. Not good for rookie QBs. They went 0 for 4. He had Rosen and Mayfield making their first starts. Both close losses. Yeah, How behind Darnold is the... Jacksonville, one of the better defenses in the league. That's a tough go. And obviously lost that game. And then how about Josh Allen and Buffalo? Get truck, Bay, Hey, I'm a little less negative. He <laughs> Oh ah, shit, two minute warning. I gotta score because then I get the ball back. Pretty well overall, although Mayfield did turn it over four times in the game. But I like what we're seeing out of him. The one winner, though, was Lamar Jackson, but it doesn't go on his record. He wasn't the starting quarterback. He's a little bit in their game and their win over Pittsburgh. On third down, Trubisky dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. So Decent gain on the scramble is six, but now it's fourth. 
Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll indeed go for it with Trubisky. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. That was closer they than I thought, bro. The dice on fourth and one off. They convert. On first down, Trubisky. Flush to his right. Wide open receiver. Control. Let's go, baby. A very solid gain of 27. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Two you you right, birds. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, come on. Float, float. Coverage there by the safety. Ah, that would have been good right there. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Second and ten now. It's Trubisky. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And down as long as it's the first, baby. As long as it's the first, I am mad. Yep. Trubisky to game. Because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Here's the first carry for Troy Cohen, and he'll fight his way down inside the 10 of the 9-yard line. A gain of three, second down. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry-up offense. Now Trubisky to throw on second. They'll leave it for Cohen. Come on, man, be faster, bro. Losing yardage back at the 12. Just did it. Said be faster. And it'll be third the and fuck ten. is you doing, Burton? Thank you. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Let's go, baby. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Trey Burton, a 12 yard touchdown grab. And the Bears. Let's go, baby. That's what I needed right there. the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. Here comes Sheryls. Oh, no, 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 Sheryls. That was scary. Up to the 35, but make it the 40 yard line. In a tie right. game, 17 seconds gotta stop you for something to give them an advantage. Give me a pick, bro. Give me a pick. Give me a pick. And that return that could be the spark to untie the game. You know, damn well they bombing it to Diggs. Diggs are stealing, matter of fact. First and ten. Cousins now to throw on first down. Let's go. Oh, where'd that guy come from? Let's go. Let's go. Better than throwing a pick, so I'll take 10 yards. I get ball back though, so I'm not really tripping. So I'm good. So I'm good. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7 7 our score. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. 
And he will be brought down here. They actually had that block. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Ooh, that big dude didn't grab me, bro. I was gone. <laughs> I was not a first. I was right at the line. A friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line. Pre-game, get used to the ground shaking with those big behemoths starting to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. First target, first catch, and a first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. And sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up the first down with a nice throw. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll make this a All this without down. a screen like that we'll little bitch did already. To the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack. As a lot of receivers, tight ends, because they're no, come on, bro, move accepted. back up for it. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. And a return will score. Come on, mate. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets out a little bit, and receiver doesn't. I had time to like. In an open spot. I didn't have to throw it on the run like that. I had time to settle. So just stood there a little bit. Oh well, my defense gonna get another pick though. Ooh. Fucked up that sack. Oh, man. Hold on. Still got a sack. I wanted it to be me, though, not the computer. You see how badly I passed? I missed it by, like, I'm, in football, that'd be a mile, bro. Like, you're right there. Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. It's a good game. A lot of mistakes. Still a good game, though. Not getting blown out like I thought it was. Throwing his cousins. And a pressure gets to him again. Let's go. It's like and six sacks. Second sack now of the afternoon. So Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. <laughs> That's how you gonna get from the Bears, baby. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Let's go, use a sick baby on the way. Khalil Mack. Can't stop me, bro. Khalil Mack in there to drop him yet again, and he must be shell shocked back there. That's now back to back. Oh, come on, man. Bro, that was a three and out with all sacks. Fuck off. Either, either too easy or this defense too raw, bro. Come on. My running game is ass. I ain't gonna lie. He sound like he run like, like a stupid. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first Not down on a 13 yard run. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Throw left side complete. It's Sims. Good fucking hit, baby. Let's go. When this offense can get their tight ends, uh. oh, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Is that Harrison Smith? I hope that was there. Like, he good. I like him. But, now, not again. Good truck, too. Oh, I'm That's like, damn. He, he got smacked twice back to the 
A good pick up there. Eight Red yards on the first down completion. This is Hammer on second down. And that okay. one blown okay. up quickly as he's okay. going to be stopped before he could even get started. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Oh, damn. Okay. I didn't even see the time. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. The Bears on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. I got pushed back. I got pushed back. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Trubisky now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta lead him, you know what I'm saying? You gotta lead him. So he scrambled right but was able to look back toward the middle of the end zone to find the target. As you know in this game, sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules because we all know most guys throwing the football are taught never throw back into the middle of the field on a scramble. He did it and got away with it for a touchdown. Instinct sometimes, right? They just take over. Instinct and vision. Sometimes you just see people who are open, you're able to get it to them. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22 yards. Let's go. Line. Come on. Let's get like four more sacks right here. Vikings. These guys and can't stop it. Around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball. I swear it shows is like a cornerback and they got him returning the ball. And hopefully flip the field. You know, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And okay, he'll okay. go down okay. right at the 30 okay. yard line. Eight yards on the you. pick up, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Oh, that's y'all answer. Running the ball, kill clock. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Again, it's Cook. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Second and two is prime time. I guess you can't get sacked if you're running, right? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation... Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. To throw his cousin. Let's go. He's three for nine, bro. Twenty-four yards. Twenty-four yards. How did I? Oh, never mind. I know exactly how they got that touchdown. They were coming like the fifteen-yard line. Guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Here's second and ten now from the 35. On play action, Cousins. Oh, shit. Oh, that was hella my bad, bro. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. First down, here's Cousins. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And he'll running right Ooh. To, and he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Time for a break. Right. 
No, you're right. Not the one. Not not the plan, bro. Not the plan. It's a run, huh? It's a run. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. They'll run with Cook. Only a yard that time, second and goal. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. Second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. Back to throw. Oh, it's a pass. Let's go. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the ten-yard line. They lost two there, and it's third down. I'm not gonna say I read that right, but I. It was a good stop. I would expect to see some pressure here. Yellow, 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 yellow. They'll look to throw. Oh. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Kyle Rudolph from 10 yards out. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this thing up. No fucking way. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Well, they had guts to go for All I need is a field goal. Fuck these guys. Oh, my God. Well, they put it on you, haven't they? They've told you you are the unit they believe in. We'll find out now if they can make it hold up. But, boy, just going for it in that side. Oh, my God. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They're only in need of I'm a field goal. I'm amount of time on the clock. So 18, 18. tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. I got to get out of bounds, bro. All the, time, all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Steps away to his left. Oh, he's got a little daylight. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short game when he took off running. And that is incomplete. So another big shot dodged there defensively. Ooh, I didn't realize I needed that. This victory, and I know this feeling. They're almost giddy, but they have to stay focused and locked in. They can make one big mistake and throw it all the way. Hey, get off me, bro. What you doing? One score down. Here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Not like I probably would have, but didn't have to. Yeah. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he hits the tight end. It's Deion Sims, and he's gonna have the first down at about the 38. Now a timeout called for by the offense, as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Hey, oh, we got, you see it, you see it? Red, red, up! Move, move. He'll look to throw. Ooh. Complete, took a shot, couldn't connect. Now they're just trying to do anything, anything possible to try and get the ball downfield and get into field goal range. And with that clock dwindling, they felt the need to take a pretty big shot there. Unfortunately, couldn't complete it. Just one good completion, bro. He's back to throw. And that one got tipped. Kind of Roughing the passer? I just playing. Up third. This defense so strong all afternoon long. Well executed again there. This is a group that really functions well off of each other. No matter what the assignment, 
the other person fills in in the exact proper spot. They made it very, very hard for them to find open places to throw the football. That is not what I needed. Oh my God, dude! Now before they run this fourth down play, we're gonna get a timeout. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. They converted once earlier in this drive, but they'll roll the dice here again on fourth down. Call it nothing right here. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep. It got his man complete. Let's go, baby. Let's go. As it's a first down. And they pick up the first down on a fourth down play. I don't know if the defense relaxed because they thought maybe they'd stopped them on third down or if they just didn't protect the sticks very well. But boy, that's a big time pickup right there. On the toss play, Howard. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Another carry, same story. Fourth quarter, and he is in red. Oh, it all comes down to a field goal. It's hard to believe because you figure at some point you break off a run. But in this case, what we're seeing is just pure domination by the defense. I think it started with the scouting report. They got into what they were doing offensively, into their mindset, and now they're beating them to the punch on every snap. Oh, shit, there's an ice field goal so now, huh? The former Pro Bowler, Cody Parkey, in field goal formation. With three seconds to go, this for the win. And this is Let's go! Let's go, baby. I hate that angle. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams <sighs> predicted to finish. Talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very Let's good. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Ooh. Kind of they went for the fake, bro. That shit. It's cool, K, bro. That's the clutchest catch you've ever been in your life. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon God. And this has been a Dude, if I had lost to a guy that didn't even have 100 yards, look at that. Not even 100 yards. I would have been pissed. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.